we're doing with inversion of configuration because we're dealing with that same two chemistry. So she gave us this guy as our base, as our nucleophile. So if this guy here is down and you do the attack, the attack could happen from the top, right? Mm -hmm. If the attack happens from the top, we kick out the halide and all the final product we got it would be that. But instead of having this place in an axial position, it would be in equatorial. No, what? Oh, because it just attacked from the other side? Yes, because remember we needed to do the attack from the opposite side where we want to kick out the leaving group. Okay. So this one here is an equatorial. We expected the final product to be in this position here. This one that has equatorial goes to axial, and this one that has axial goes to equatorial. And then we say they are isomers because we're just changing the position of one specific branch of the carbon. Okay, then it says, what kind of isomer is it? What kind of isomer? Are they constitutional isomers? Yeah. Okay, let's review that. Well, Cons which ones are we looking at? I'm so confused because there were two here. There's the A and the B. So okay, that. so this is A. Mm -hmm. This is the final product. And this is the second product. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is not a chair at all. chair. Because this guy was down, now it comes to the equatorial position. Right? Yeah. So this is one product, this is the other. Are they constitutional isomers? No. No, because uh, the branch, the sulfur thing is in the same carbon. Mm -hmm. Are they stereoisomers? Yes. Yes. What kind of stereoisomers? They're not enantiomers because they're not mirror images. But I, so they would have to be isomers. Yeah, if you look at this guy here, this is down, this is down. Mm -hmm. Kind of cis, this is up, this is down kind of trends. So they are diastereomers. Sweet. That was B, or no, that was A, excuse me. Yeah. Okay. A and B, right? Oh, okay, so they're both going to be diastereomers because they just because. Yeah, they're just saying what is the product of A? That. Mm -hmm. What is the product of B? That. Now, what is the relationship between product A and product B? Oh. Diastereomers. Why they're diastereomers? Because they are up, up. Oh, down, 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 up. That makes sense. Yes. Yeah, so this is what number five is asking. Draft is your projection screen stereoisomer where two, three, dipole, you think. And. Okay. So, I have so you have two, three, dichlorobutane. Yeah. Two, three. Butane. Okay. So remember, if we are doing Fisher projection, we grab this one as our chain, right? Yeah. Has a CH3 here, yeah. a CH3 there, yeah. and then you say CL yeah. and a CL on this side. Yeah. Well, can you understand the way I drew them? Yeah, but this is not a fish projection. Oh, is that what I asked for? Yeah. yeah. So this is why you're drawing that confirmation because it asks you to draw yeah. the fish or projection. Uh, possible stereo isomers. Okay, let's so. let's look that. Is a CH two C eight C H and you look at it in the structure. 
I was having a hard time finding the other one, the chirality center. Is it right? One, two, three. Yeah. Right? Okay. So, this is one yeah. Cairo, right? Center. Yeah. It's actually not Cairo because we have same thing on both sides. Well, there's an extra carbon on the right, actually, on side this side. See? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm... Better. I'm I'm taking it that's why it's not a meso form, right? Yes. If it were just, um, because the first time I looked at this, I thought, um, oh wait, no, there's only three in the middle. There's a, a second one on the right, see? There's one, two, on the, to the right of the... Oh, okay, the double bond is really on here. Yeah, yeah it's just three in the middle. And, um, yeah, I missed that one on the right, the second one on the right, the first time I looked at this, so that's why it's not a mesoform. Yeah. But at the same time... So if I look at this carbon here, this is a chirocarbon, right? Yeah. So it could give me a R or S configuration. Yeah. So it could give me two stereoisomers. Remember, double bonds Cannot could give me a Z or a E configuration. Oh, yeah. So then I say I have two plus two. Oh, four. yeah. You can count those. That's it. And uh, this one does have a meso form because it is symmetrical. Except, wait. Are you sure? I don't think it is. It says here. Oh, yeah. It says no. I just realized, yeah. That's two bromines here, a chlorine here. That would be yeah. hard. And uh, do you, don't you need even numbered carbon yes. um, chains to be made? Or if you have you know, a plane of symmetry, for example, here, if I cut this molecule in a half, I have a plane of symmetry. Yeah. So Even though I, yeah, I have four carbons. So if this were a bromine two, would it be a meso form then? One, two? No. Because they have, it would have to be a four of them, right? Yes. Because you can't, when you're finding symmetry, you can't split atoms in half, can you? You can. This is what we say, the mirror image in the oh, yeah. axis. But then... But I don't think in organic chemistry you do that. You do that in 472. Yeah. Chemistry 472 is when we put a plane of symmetry on here. Okay. The middle of the carbon. Yeah. But in 4, 7, in 3, 15, 52, it's only the extraction, yeah. larger action. Yeah. But it could be more complicated. And then we have another nomenclature for yeah. the compounds. Yeah.